So, here's the empath, here's the vampire. Okay, so by vampire I mean energy vampire, narcissist, any of the cluster B type variety that has to feed on other people to survive. Vampires don't tend to feed on each other, though they could. But the narcissist feeds on the empath and the normal people. Of course, they prefer to feed on the empathic people. Well, this, the narcissist, they say, is 1% of the population. If you, if you count all cluster Bs, it's something like 15%. I myself believe that number is much higher. There may be more energy vampires than there are empaths. Okay, so, but what we can agree upon is that the majority of people are here. That's the majority of people, the normal people. Okay, so normal people, um, they're the most people, right? So how is it that these two people don't get together? And these two and these two people do get together whenever this is the vast majority of people. Okay, there's something wrong with that picture. There's something wrong with that picture. These people have normal level of empathy, but they don't see the beauty in the empath. So these people have a normal level of empathy going about their business and their daily lives, uh, almost as though they're more like, I don't want to call them robotic, but it's almost like their consciousness isn't as high as the empath. So you have the introspective empath who's in touch with their own soul. You have the normal person who's not quite there. So that, that causes there to be a faulty connection. Empaths can't connect to the normal person. But the vampire preys upon the empath, and the empath actually wants to help these people down here because, for one thing, they think they've been noticed for the first time in their life as being of value by these energy vampires. Of course, the joke's on you. That's not true. Now, so population number, this is the greatest, followed by the energy vampires, and I think the empath is probably in the minority. So... The mystery to me is how these two people don't end up getting together. The empath just can't trip over their shoelace someday and get in a relationship with a normal person. And it always has to be this right here. I understand the dynamics at work. Okay. But I'm not even sure that those dynamics are enough to explain this situation. So... It's almost like the world is set up for these empaths to be preyed upon by the narcissistic energy vampires. There's a saying, birds of a feather flock together, and the empaths better start doing that and avoid these people because there's no connection here. There's no connection here possible. You'd think the normal people would see the beauty in this, but they don't. And these people will feed on the normal people, but the preference is this. So they just go through all of these normal people, this big mass of normal people, straight to the empath. There's a great mystery in that.